Thanks for picking up a super cropper. I want to show you real quick how to assemble it. Uh, the first box is going to contain the reservoir, and inside of it is going to be the pump and some of the stand and manifold pieces. So you're going to want to grab these out. Go ahead and attach the pump either to the floor of the uh, reservoir or with the intake side facing down along the edge. It really doesn't matter which way. I'll just leave it like this. Then you're going to go over to the box that contains the manifold and the uh, stand pieces. If you pay attention, on this piece, there's an L for the left side and an R for the right. So sitting from behind the res with the pump output towards you, it'll fit right down in the holes. You're going to want to come in here. Make sure that when you set it down, you line up the back of this with this little notch right here. Even here and not push too far forward or too far back, just right even. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is assemble the stand. You're going to have the base piece. Top piece. And the three risers. Stick the three risers in. None of this stand is cemented so that you can do what you need to do with it. You need to adjust it. Raise it, lower it, it's up to you. There you go. Then once you got the stand together, you're going to want to take the rails, set them up. Uh, I've marked them, uh, numbered. If you look at the bottom, this is number six. It goes from left to right. So the number six is going to be on the right. The numbers are important because the drains come out on a specific side of the rail and you want them in the right location. Just set them into the stand lined up. Set it in. Grab another one. like that. Now if you look right here on either side, when you have everything lined up, the edge should sit right here on the corner and same thing on the other side. That'll help you keep good spacing on your rails, keep them straight. Next thing you're going to want to do is take the output. You're going to want to put some Teflon tape around this piece right here screw it in right here. You're going to screw it pretty much all the way in. Just like that. And then next you're going to attach the manifold. The drain that's on the manifold goes on the left side. You're going to also want to put some Teflon on the plug here. The other place you're going to want to put some Teflon is on the threads for each one of the spray lines. So once you got the Teflon on, you're just going to screw them in.
coils are probably going to shift around a little bit as you attach them, and that's okay. You'll just line them up at the end. Once you get them all the way in, you're probably going to want to take a, uh, either a pair of pliers or a wrench just to get them real good and snug. And then once everything is on, you're just going to kind of lift the whole assembly onto the spout, press it down. Uh, if you want to, you could put a little uh, sealant right here. It has to be, it can't be sealed so that we can take it apart to ship it. But you can put a little sealant right here, but it really doesn't matter because if it does drip out of here, it just drips right back into the reservoir. Uh, so there you go. It's assembled. Uh, one thing you want to make sure that before you turn it on is to take the maybe first or second net cup out of each line and rotate the PEX tubing until you can feel the spray line pointed, the hole in the spray line pointed straight down, straight down this way. Um, and then once you get them all lined up and you fill it up with water and turn it on, you're going to want to spend some time making sure that they're all spraying straight down across the net cups. That'll uh, get the best thing. A um, couple quick tips, you know, make sure your floor's level. You don't want the rails leaning that way. They should lean towards me a little bit. Uh, when you plant, make sure the, the plant that you're planting has roots out the bottom of uh, whatever medium that you already have. Uh, otherwise it won't get enough water, so it needs to already have some roots at the bottom of the net cup when you, when you plant. We recommend uh, using sure to grow hail. It's a great nutrient. When you run this system, uh, just keep the pump on all day long. For as long as the lights are on, keep the pump on. Uh, if you ever need to take a spray line off of its um, fitting, you just push in on these little tabs right here and then pull out. And then when you put it back in, just make sure that it seats all the way and doesn't come out. These should seat right up right up against the edge. And then you're ready to go. Oh, you also got, we put a little flap in here to the reservoir for you to uh, put in your nutrient solutions and mix up anything, extra access. Basically, you can get to the pump if you need to clean it or do anything with it. Uh, we use dry nutrients because we don't clog the thing as much. Uh, if you... You know, you sh we sealed them pretty good. You shouldn't see any leakage from this area down here. If you do ever get any leaks out of the end caps, just seal them up with aquarium glue. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. You can, uh, when you need to drain your reservoir, you can just unscrew this, screw in a, a pump fitting, plug in some hose to it, and drain it wherever you need to drain it to.